what are we doing? We are making sandwiches and prepping for Lake O'Hara today. This hike we have tried to do twice on two recent Canada trips over the years and we haven't been able to go so we're doing it today. There's a shuttle that takes you up there which it's impossible to get tickets for so we're not doing that. Um, we're gonna hike seven miles up a road, then do like a four or five mile hike, and then seven mile hike down the road. So it's gonna be a massive day, so we're just prepping with food and stuff for the hotel in Banff right now. So Banff is expensive. This hotel is like $200 a night. We split it between the three of us, so it's not that that bad, but it's a lot. And the food is like $30 a meal, no matter what you're getting. So Bree and I went to the supermarket and just got some of the cheaper things we could find. One being corn dogs. We got corn dogs because we have ketchup left over from the other day and trying to make our money go further so we can keep traveling. Uh, that is one of the realities we face. But, awesome hotel and heading out shortly for the hike. arrived at the parking lot and it's such a bummer that we can't just take the road up but I got it it would be way too congested up there because this is probably one of the most beautiful places in the entire province so <laughs> we just officially crossed into British Columbia and are in Yoho National Park right now it's super cool that we can see what we think is yellow larches so we're here for fall colors right now and Brie said when she was looking at um, we're talking to someone, the fall colors here only last a few days, so it's really cool to see that. But now we just get to hike seven miles up a road. Bree and I have been so close to doing this, we have literally parked in this lot before, like 2 a.m., ready to go, but it just didn't happen. So this time we're here, we're going for it. We don't care if it's 17 miles, we don't care if it's 20 miles, we're doing it, so we're stoked. What do you think of the Canadian Rockies? Fucking so dope. These might be my new favorite mountain range, for sure. As we know, he says that about everything. <laughs> Your place. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys a look in my bag so you guys can see what a pack looks like for a 15 to 21 mile day hike. All right, we've got a Garmin in reach for safety if anything goes wrong. We've got our bear spray because we're gonna be in bear country. Water bladder carabinered in. And we have micro spikes if it snows, filters, 85 millimeter lens, two peanut butter sandwiches, and Insta360 portable chargers down there. The water bladder's back there, by the way. Um, my time-lapse camera, a water filter to refill water, GoPro, selfie stick for the Insta360, Breeze camera, which I'm gonna carry because she's carrying my tripod. Toilet paper is a must. A headlamp, because we'll be hiking back in the dark. Extra batteries for headlamps. Uh, fresh thing of sunscreen, because we're gonna be in the mountains all day. And that's it. <laughs> so this is how you avoid hiking 14 miles on road. We put our thumbs up and she just shook her head at us. <laughs> so we just talked to a bus driver. We tried to hitchhike the second bus driver. There's two behind me. Uh, they weren't having it. They were really nice though. Uh, he opened his door and we thought we were getting a ride, but we weren't. The way down though, if you hike up, he said is almost never sold out. The last bus at 6.30 p.m. So if you come, do that and you can get a ride down, save yourself seven miles. However, it's $10 cash per person. None of us have cash, so we're doing it all on foot. It's huge. It is. We have a dangerous porcupine on the loose here. He is, uh, or she, is leading us to Lake O'Hara because we don't want to get lost. Um, but yeah, he's been leading us for a couple hundred yards now. And we don't know how long it's gonna last. <laughs> we have successfully made it past the porcupine. 
<laughs> None of us got shot by his spikes. Thank God. We read on all trail reviews that the road up is not scenic, but it's pretty awesome. We just pulled off, getting a time lapse of the mountains right now. There were reflections, but not since I started my time lapse. <laughs> We're only like uh, three miles into this hike, but probably out of like 18. <laughs> so we talked to a ranger that drove past. Uh, definitely got our morale kind of low, and now as I'm talking, it's hailing and snowing. What if it fucking hails? <laughs> oh my god, look at how big these are. We are turning around. <laughs> <laughs> Third time's the charm did not work this time. Uh, it looks like shit, it's snowing, it's every mountain socked in the clouds. We talked to Mark, one of the bus drivers, who's really nice, and he said it is not worth it. So, yeah, Mark is sweet, he's a good dude. Uh, so we're gonna try again tomorrow. So we'll, the vlog will continue tomorrow. So we're on take four, and we were seconds from hiking. Hayden lost his wallet. Hopefully he can get it. He just left to go back to Lake Louise Village to look for it. Right now, there's one spot in the parking lot. My tripod's been covering it, holding his place, so when he comes back, and this little guy, this little fucking, where'd you go? This little chipmunk, this little chipmunk's trying to eat my bag. I'm sitting in the car because it's cold. I'm keeping an eye on him so he doesn't get into my stuff. So, we are almost five miles in. Furthest we have made it, attempt four. Nothing is gonna stop us, I don't care. If we get dumped on, I don't know what it is. We're making it to Lake O'Hara today. I'll let you, Hayden, catch you up on his morning. Lost my wallet. Well, we don't really know, it could be in my car somewhere, but it's gone. I had to cancel all my credit cards, lost my vaccine card. No big deal, so we're just pushing on. It's in the past now, and on to the next adventure. <laughs> Big Lake O'Hara and rocking some time lapses right now. It's freaking sweet up here. We made it, fourth time's the charm, but it looks like shit right now, so hopefully it clears up a little bit soon. saw we failed on this yesterday because of weather and reality is it is freezing it's supposed to be warmer than yesterday but it's colder and it's so gray it's so beautiful but it is gray um, which is kind of a bummer so we're just gonna wait it out thankfully we came here with extra hours so hopefully these clouds pass and we can get some awesome awesome stuff but we made it fourth time is the charm um, the day hut that sells coffee and carrot cake was super sweet, but we thought it was gonna be inside and heated, and it was not. So if you're coming up here, be prepared to be cold. It's so hard to properly show how beautiful this is in video, so hopefully some of the time lapses do it justice. How many miles does that add? I mean, it just doubles the distance. So another nine miles. Me. 
making our way up West Opabin Trail. I said that wrong, it's O-P-A-B-I-N. And we're going up the steep switchback so we can get to Prospect Overlook, which is like the classic photo of Lake O'Hara, which is sweet. Almost at 12 miles though, so it's already been a really long day. Colorado and we only have like really aspens in the winter for fall foliage and I've always heard about lurches like up in like the northern part of the North America and I never knew what they looked like and here they are turning and they're everywhere they're all over it's so beautiful So the clouds have been clearing, going in and out. It's unbelievable lighting, amazing clouds, making so many time lapses. This is some of the craziest conditions we've ever gotten on a hike, aside from how beautiful it is to begin with. We have got fresh snow and fall colors on the larches. It is so, so crazy, it's awesome. This is freaking insane, I cannot believe this. We have like fall color larches, snow and incredible clouds and light and then just wait to what you see on the other side of this. time-lapses, photos, videos, everything. We have 40 minutes to do two very steep miles down to maybe get on the shuttle. Otherwise, we have an extra nine miles to hike. We're already at 12 and a half miles. So we're hustling, not filming at all until we get there. I'm betting that there's room. We have, I think, one mile to 1.2 miles left. We're almost down to the flat part, which will be sick. And it's the last bus of the day, which they say is the emptiest bus and the highest likelihood of getting a ride down. I really hope so. <laughs> so we'll see. You, you don't think there's gonna be room? Bree, <laughs> Bree thinks there's gonna be two spots and then we have to pull straws to see who doesn't get on. Looks like it hasn't left yet. <laughs> Moment of truth. Thank you. <laughs> the We're fourth, back! Woo! The fourth time is the charm. We got it. We're done and we got so lucky we got the shuttle down. So we only ended up doing like 12 to 14 miles. It was perfect. Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya. Like and subscribe.